I was born here in Steamboat and raised on this ranch and I'm third generation on this ranch. We raise mother cows that have calves and uh, we sell the calves in the fall. The winters were a lot longer and uh, more snow than we've had in the past few years. We need good rains at the end of May, good rains in June, and usually a good rain about the first part of July, which we have not had for the last two years. Without those rains, there's no moisture in the ground and the grass just doesn't grow. Here's the grass that makes the hay is down here. See, and it's only about that high. It should be up here, and this stemmy shelf should be up about here at this point in time. With the river being low, it's harder to get that water to channel into our irrigation ditch. Our soil moisture profile is very depleted from water. Then that snow starts to melt in the spring, it goes into the soil. It doesn't run off. That's why we see stream flows today 10% of average. The biggest uncertainty is whether or not we're going to have enough hay to support the cattle herd. And if we don't have enough hay to support the cattle herd, then more cows are going on the truck. The more cows that go on the truck, that's the less income for the following year. So it just kind of multiplies. Because we produce all of our own hay, we figure it costs us $60 a ton to produce. Right now they're asking about $250 a ton for grass hay. I mean, if it had some water rain four inches, there wouldn't be a cow to sell for five months. All this water issues has made people bring a lot of cattle to town. I think that the impact for us would be more emotional than financial. And it would be really emotional for our son and daughter-in-law. Do I become just a hay operation if it's feasible just to hay and actually get rid of the cows? Living in Seamount Springs, there's always the tourist option that like, do we come in to figure out how to get more tap into the more tourism dollars or whatever is around to help support that operation. I think we can change and adapt to what's coming unless it gets really extreme.